Virgin with Mr. Klotzman. Hey everybody, welcome to Vegging with Klotzman. I'm Ian, this is Tamara, and welcome to our kitchen. Today, we are going to be assaulting and attacking maybe one of the worst smelling vegetables ever created, the cauliflower. Now, I don't know about you, but I've had cauliflower boiled before and it's just disgusting. It makes the entire house smell like an elephant graveyard. So today, instead, of boiling our cauliflower, we are going to make cauliflower wings in an air fryer. But if you don't have an air fryer, don't worry, you can also do this recipe in your oven. But before we cook, Tamara, what must we do? Wash our hands. Wash our hands. All right, so the first thing you're of course going to need is some cauliflower, and then you're going to need a knife, or if you're really cool, you can go to whisked over off of the 98th and slide, and you can pick up one of these neat little uh, cauliflower and broccoli doodads, and we're going to get into that and see how that thing works here in a second. You're also going to need some breadcrumbs, but see, Tamara and I don't use breadcrumbs. We use... Pork rinds. Pork rinds. Keto-friendly, zero carbohydrates, and I kind of think it tastes pretty good. Now, we have a normal brand, just no... Uh, seasonings, nothing in there. We like to do that ourselves, but if you want to, they have hot and spicy, they have all different kinds, so check it out. You're also gonna need some salt and pepper. We like sea salt and we like fresh pepper. And then you're also gonna need a packet of dry ranch seasoning. Now, you're gonna use this if you don't use the next thing. So if you want your cauliflower wings as plain and dry, use some plain ranch uh, dry packets. But if you're cool and you want this to be the full non-chicken wing experience, and you can go with some chicken wing sauces. We like buffalo wild wings. Our favorite is the uh, garlic parmesan. The sweet barbecue is also pretty nice. So whatever sauce you like is great. You like the hot stuff, that's fine. I don't like hot stuff, and I don't care what you think. Oh, what a big wuss. He doesn't like hot stuff. I don't care. Look at these guns. I eat what I want. And I don't like stuff too spicy. You'll get over it. So our goal now is to turn this head of cauliflower into florets. Now, we had this neat uh, little uh, floret maker from Whisk. And again, if you've never been to Whisk or from 98th and Slide, great people over there. Now, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take this thing, right? You stick it kind of in between the fronts. You just push down. And you push out and bam! You got yourself some easy to get florets, right? Again, you just take this like a little spade, you get it in between the green stuff and the white stuff, and you just push down, and boom, instant floret. Wait, what was that? Boom, instant floret. Oh my gosh, do it again, folks. He can't. Oh, he can. Look at that, it's so easy. Man, this thing's great. Again. Whisked. Look how cool that is. All right. Now we have our top side. Now you can use a knife. All right, we have a knife. But let's see if this bad boy can get up the top floor. It's too. Holy moly. It does it all. It is a fantastic tool. So again, if you're like, I really want to get into the floor business. I want to make a bunch of florets all the time. Florets are my new best friend. I do suggest picking up this guy. This really does make it easy. I'm going to show you in a second how to get it out with a knife. It's not quite as much fun, though, but it is a lot of fun as well. Now, we have all different size florets here, and what we want really are kind of what I would say wing size florets. This one's like perfect. This one's a little big. So all we're going to do is very carefully again take our knife, and we're going to use our claw, which I've been practicing, but I'm still not very good at doing. And we're just going to kind of cut this into the sizes that we want. Okay? I'd say that looks pretty good. In fact, I bet I could even kind of make this a little nicer. But the idea is you're thinking, what is going to be the right size for me to shove in my mouth? Because these are going to be so good when they're done cooking that you're going to eat them like crazy. Tamara, what's your favorite? Do you like the Parmesan garlic or the buffalo sauce, or do you like the barbecue? 
I'm all about the Parmesan garlic. Parmesan garlic is a good one. Now, if you're into the super hot and spicy stuff, go for it. This is all about you. All about you in your kitchen. Be happy. Burn your mouth off. Okay, now let's say you don't have one of those neat little devices from Whisk, which again, Whisk is not paying me to tell you how cool this is. They let me borrow it, and I'm not giving it back. This thing's amazing. Anyway, let's say you don't have one of those neat little devices. All you have is a knife. So here you have your cauliflower. What I'm going to do is I'm just simply just going to tear off all of this greenage, right? It's extra greenage. You don't want to eat this. I mean, if you're crazy, you might. If you're living in, like, the end times and, like, the four horse from the apocalypse are riding by and you're like, oh man, let's see what Veggie with Klotzman says about how to cook cauliflower and you turn on this uh, video, uh, then disregard. Go ahead and eat this. I wouldn't. It's, it looks awful. So here we have kind of a, a uh, D green, but we still have this big stem. So what I do, and if you have a better way of doing this, I say go for it. All I do is I just cut this thing in half, okay? You can kind of see where our florets are on the outside and where this big stem thingy is in the middle. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of cut around the stem and just kind of cut out those, those florets and then I just kind of peel them off. Okay, now I'm not going to lie to you, I mean, that's fun. Is it as much fun as that little thing from Whisked? No. But was it fun? Absolutely. So, again, if you're like, I need a cool Father's Day gift, which is in, which, by the way, Father's Day is like Sunday. You know, if you haven't gotten something for Dad, go do that now. Stop watching the video. Turn it off. Go get your dad something nice. Okay, so now we've got our florets right here. Look how many. This is about uh, a small cauliflower. The medium sized cauliflower was plenty. Uh, depending on, of course, how many people you're going to feed, you want to get maybe more or less. I always like more because you're like, these are so good. You're going to be so excited when we cook them. So what you're going to need are your broccoli florets, broccoli cauliflower florets. You're going to need two eggs that you're going to crack into a ramekin. So Tamara's going to do that now. While Tamara is cracking, you can also take your pork rind bread crumbs. And put them in the bowl. I'd say about a cup. Now, if you don't want to use pork rind breadcrumbs, any old breadcrumbs will do for this recipe. You can use like normal breadcrumbs. You can use panko. Uh, we just really like the pork rind ones, and they really cook up well, and they have a great flavor and texture. So, if you haven't had a chance to try out pork rind breadcrumbs, just go on to Amazon, just type it in, and you'll find all kinds of different ones. So, now my favorite part. We're gonna take a clean fork. And we're just going to kind of whisk these together. And again, if you want to use a whisk, you can. I just think a fork does the job just fine. Okay, now there's all different kinds of ways to do this. You can dip the cauliflower into flour and then dip it into the egg and then dip it into your pork rinds. You can, whatever makes you happy, whatever method makes you happy, I prefer to dump the egg right onto the florets. Oh my gosh, this is called the Klotzman Technique. Now, this technique came about because I got really bored one day and didn't have enough bowls, and this works really well. So, our egg is right on top of our florets, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this up. Now, hey, look, I'm just gonna use this guy again to kind of mix these up, okay? Look at that. And make sure you get everything nice and covered in the eggs, okay? You don't want any florets to not be a part of the party, okay? So really get in there. Now, my personal favorite way to do this is to use my hands. But I thought since I had this cool tool, I'd show you all the different ways you can use it, okay? This tool also works well on broccoli, by the way, if you're uh, wanting to use uh, this on all kinds of different things. I really want to see what it does to cantaloupe and watermelon. But for now, we, we use it 
the way the manufacturer asks us to. Okay, those are nice and mixed. Okay, now we're going to take our breadcrumbs or our pork rinds. Now here's where it gets interesting and this is where you get to be creative. You can flavor this any way you want. Um, my personal favorite way is to put salt, And Tamara's going to hit it with pepper. And in my opinion, that's ready to go. Okay? Especially if you're going to be using sauces. But if you're not going to be using sauce, then I suggest you put some of that beautiful dry ranch in there. Really get in there. Now, if you have a packet, I say just use a whole packet. But see, I don't have a packet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just really going to get it in there because I like a lot because I want that beautiful ranch flavor. Now, if you get the mixture right, I'm just going to use a fork and kind of mix this up. When it cooks, this is going to provide all that beautiful flavor that you've been looking forward to but for some reason you can't eat wings anymore, probably because they're too expensive to go buy, or perhaps your doctor's like, you need to eat more vegetables because the fried chicken isn't good for you. Doctors and their great advice. So, you go home, you make some cauliflower wings, you don't want sauce, you use this dry ranch packet, it's delicious, okay? Now, let's get to air frying. Okay, so here we have everything that we need to finish up this recipe. We have our florets in the eggs. We have our amazing ranch pork rind breadcrumbs. And we have the basket for our air fryer. Now, if you don't have an air fryer, what you're going to do is you're going to set your oven to 400. And you're going to put all of these florets, after we mix them in with the uh, breadcrumbs, on a, on a pan, and you're just gonna bake them for about 30 minutes, okay? Now, that's boring though, let's use an air fryer. So, what we do is we take a florid, all right? You're gonna want a dry hand and a wet hand. Dry hand, wet hand. The wet hand messes with this. The dry hand messes with this. Don't mix them up or you're gonna get the dreaded jazz hand. That is an Alton Brown joke. God bless you, A.B. Now, we take a floret that has the egg on it, and boom, we just put it right in to the breadcrumbs. Now we're gonna take our dry hand, and we're just gonna kinda sprinkle some crumbs on top. Push, 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 push. Now again, using the dry hand, we're going to take this out, and then we're just going to put it right in the basket. It's right, right. This is so easy. I guarantee you, if you don't cook, you can do this. This is simple. Or you might need some more bowls in your life, but those aren't that expensive. Okay. All right, so now we have a nice layer of florets in our basket. And Tamara is going to simply put them into the air fryer. Now look. Look how easy that is. Now, we're going to make sure our temperature is set to 400. It is. Look at that. And we're going to set it to 15 minutes. And that's it. Now, you just let them cook. Now, if you want to be, like, really cool, you can set it for, like, seven and a half minutes and then flip them halfway through and then do another seven and a half minutes. But honestly, Tamara and I find that just 15 minutes without flipping is fine. So, let them cook. Don't mess with it. Don't touch it. Don't open it. Let the magic happen. 15 minutes, buddy. All right, 15 minutes is up. Let's take them out, Tamara. She is slowly taking them out. Oh my gosh. Take a look at that. Look at that. You know what you, you can't tell right now? And Tamara, you can back me up on this. Doesn't that smell amazing? Oh yeah, it smells good. Oh, it doesn't smell like the stampede scene from Lion King at all. It smells like... Um, it smells like Hakuna Matata in here. It's what it smells like. Okay, now it's time to get saucy. You're going to need some tongs to carefully get out your cauliflower. And depending on how many sauces, uh, you'll need that many bowls. Now, again, what you have right now is totally fine. Makes a great side dish even. Just uh, the cauliflower with the ranch packet in the, the stuff. Mwah, it's delicious. But we want to do some saucing. So we uh, carefully take out our wings 
and we put them into these bowls. I'm going to kind of do half in here, half over there. These, by the way, they look amazing. They smell amazing. This is so exciting. And uh, Tamara is going to be on Team Parmesan Garlic. I'm going to be Team Honey Barbecue. And all you're going to do, and this is so easy, you're just going to pour a little bit in there. Okay? You don't need much. All right? And then you're just going to spin it. Okay? It's going to give a little spin, maybe a little toss. Maybe get a little excited. Get up in there. Find your mafano. Do what makes you happy. Get in there. If you don't want to do this, you can use your tongs and be boring, but you know, have a little fun in your kitchen. Kitten camera's being boring, I think. Mm. I'll tell you. So, and what you're going to get is that right there. Look at that. Look how good that looks. It looks good. It smells good. And uh, let's do a little taste test, huh? Oh, man. That is so good. Hey, you know what? This has been Vegging with Mr. and Mrs. Klotzman. We hope that you enjoyed uh, trying this recipe out with us. Um, and there's a thousand different ways to cook cauliflower. So, I want to know what's your favorite way to cook cauliflower. Put that in the comments below, and we'll see you later. Before I let you go, I just want to take a moment and plug uh, your local food bank. Uh, during all these crazy times, right now, food banks are being pushed to the limit. So if you are in a position to give, I do suggest you give generously. Our local food bank here in Lubbock, Texas, the South Plains Food Bank, uh, does uh, above and beyond for our community. I'm going to put a link to their website uh, in the comments, so please, uh, take a moment and consider if you have a little extra to give to your local food bank. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Comment what you would like to see next time. This is Klotzman saying goodbye. I hope you have a nice day.